okay guys so this is an update as it's happening now this is happening now okay as you can see on your screen more than 107,000 people have signed petition urging the home office to scrap its higher minimum wage threshold for foreign workers and family visa this is actually happening now so if you want to know more about this kindly stay tuned and do not forget to share this video Welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessing and Moses of Blessed Blessing channel. Okay, so on this channel, I film content on how you can migrate to the UK, live generally in the UK, anything that is happening around me, like any good thing that you can think of that has to do with the UK. Those are the information that we share on this channel. So if this interests you, kindly stay with us. Do not skip any bit of this video. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload new videos. My returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. I sincerely appreciate you god bless you yes let's quickly go into it this is a recent update as it is happening now okay so over 107,000 people have actually signed this petition against the home office you know as you can see i'm not the one saying this yeah it's actually there on the uk government website so if you go there now you'll see what i'm talking about okay it's over 107,000 people yeah that have signed this petition against the home office urging them to scrap its higher minimum wage threshold for foreign workers and family visas guys you know i once told us that this thing is not just migrants that are suffering for it like it's not just going to affect only migrants like uk citizens are being affected in terms of family visa because you find out that it's now as if they are kind of you know limiting them yeah that's where most of them are seeing it okay because if you're telling someone that before the person will be able to bring in his family like someone that is a british a british citizen that wants to get married to non-british person okay for instance you may have a british citizen that wants to to get married to an african asian you know even other parts of europe okay so you are telling them that they cannot even do this except if they are earning up to thirty eight thousand seven hundred pounds oh that's actually a huge one isn't it okay so because of this so many complaints that has been on ground you find out that the government actually did a review on it okay they kind of split it down they said okay for family visa since most of these people are coming to complain that the amount there is actually high because before now it was eighteen thousand something imagine from eighteen thousand something to over thirty eight thousand that is over fifty percent or sixty percent increment okay many things has been going on about it when it was announced in december okay so then the government now had a second thought and said instead of them just making it or capping it at thirty eight thousand seven hundred pounds okay at a goal that they rather split it up okay but whichever way it will still end up at that thirty eight thousand seven hundred by year 2025 that's next year so this thing has actually got some persons thinking because you find out that most people that are already here in the uk uk nationals yeah so you find out that most of them would want to get married even outside the uk okay and they would want to consider you know bringing in their spouses okay so you coming up to tell them that they will have to earn up to this amount before they will be able to do this i think that is actually what brought out all these petitions and everything that has been happening okay one thing is this guys it's not like they are not rich yeah we have so many rich people here of course the economy is is, is still okay compared to some other countries yeah but then you still have some persons that are still struggling okay there are still other people that are struggling the question is how many people are earning up to this amount how many people ends up to that amount because i think as a carer or senior carer i think the maximum i've seen people earn as a senior carer is about twenty five thousand pounds yeah i don't know if it's more than that you can drop your opinion on the comment section so what these people are coming out to say is that, that the amount the government has set out for them to meet as the threshold that's the minimum salary threshold is too high that they cannot afford it okay the government should have a rethink try to kind of reduce it okay everybody knows what the minimum wage is okay so it means that it will make them trying to work more okay and not just working more you find out that, that 
most of these jobs are actually capped at a particular salary that's annual salary okay there are some persons that that have good professions that may earn more than that okay but what about these other lower people people that are not earning up to that people that that don't really work much okay so one thing that i've got to know about these people is that they are very lovely people they don't want to overstretch themselves like some of us will do judging from where we are coming from okay you find out that most of them don't actually work much once they are able to earn something that can sustain them to pay their bills and most of them are actually in their, in their private houses okay yeah you are in your house you have your car you can go for shopping you can feed well yeah they feel that once they are able to do this you know these few necessary things of life okay once they are able to meet them then they should be okay so why trying to uh, you know to overwork themselves just because they want to earn higher most of them do not actually buy into this idea so the reason why they have written some petitions against the home office is actually there on the news so if you go down you see so many things that have been going around it okay an increase in the minimum salary required for those arriving on skilled workers visa from 26,200 pounds to 38,700 pounds we start from april 4th that's 4th of april 2024 yeah i know i did a video on that okay if you want to read more you can actually refer to my previous video on this but i'm just trying to show you guys people's opinion what they think about this and how they have a kind of signed some petitions against the home office the wage needed for those wanting to bring families to the uk will also increase in stages from april 11th okay from this date british workers we need to be earning at least 29,000 a year to bring dependents from abroad to the UK on a family visa, a large increase from the existing 18,600 minimum salary needed. Okay, the threshold is set to rise even further to 34,500 pounds before finally reaching 38,700 pounds in 2025. I think I've explained this before. Okay, then change.org has been tracking the numerous petitions opposing the visa changes okay some 107,689 people had signed appealed on monday morning a spokesman for the website said okay a further petition on the government's website which labeled the changes to family visa as inhuman okay has received more than 51,000 signatures already okay if that petition reaches 100,000 signatures by june 13 it will be considered for debate in the parliament guys are you guys saying it now so they are trying to tell us that as it stands now over 107,000 people have already signed the debate okay but the one on the government's website okay as at monday that's this past monday talking about two days ago depending on when you're seeing this video okay it's already reached 51,000 people that have signed the petition already okay and it went for that to tell us that once the number of people that signs this petition gets to 100,000 yeah then it will be called for a parliament debate that's to say that they will have to come out again to deliberate on it guys i don't know what you guys think about it but to some extent i think it's actually a good news as individuals like i always tell you we cannot do anything about it than abide by the rule but then if you have double mind about it or if you have you know you are not comfortable about it the petition is there you can as well go there and sign it that's if you want to okay yeah that's what has been happening and immediately i got this i think it's good for me to let you guys know so that you know what's happening yeah if you wake up one morning and you hear that oh they've actually changed it or they've come out to reduce the minimum threshold amount that's the amount there then you will not be surprised you will know that oh that means that they actually you know you dead to the cry of the people because those petitions means that people are not okay with it imagine where 107,000 people are not okay with the decision of the government on a particular thing i think it calls for you know for a renegotiation or you know somehow somehow they just have to talk about it again okay then if you check that petition there's actually some things that they checked out for yeah before you are eligible to sign the, the petition because the petition is actually on the government website there's a link there okay but before you are able to sign that 
that uh, petition and for your signature to count you must be a british citizen or you know a british resident okay you must have been you know issued your brop yeah even as a student you can sign yeah as far as you are you know a british resident as a student as a skilled worker as a british citizen you know you should be able to sign that okay is there please do not misunderstand this video is there on government websites okay and many people are already aware of this okay it's not something that is hidden okay it's everywhere on the internet if you browse it you'll see what i'm talking about okay so me bringing it out is just for you guys to know what is happening and to have the hopes that somehow somehow something may likely come out from it because you find out that many workers foreign workers that wants to come over to the uk they are still there okay and all these things are definitely going to affect them or is, is affecting them already because march is just next month okay that they have been stopped from coming in with their dependent and also the threshold that has been increased also for skilled workers visa which may likely affect even people that are already here in the uk that one is going to take effect from april and that's like two months coming so whichever way it is you find out that some persons may still necessarily be involved in all this okay the more reason why we decide to bring out this so that you guys will be informed and know what is happening thank you so much for watching to this moment yeah please do well to like this video if you end values from it okay and also do not forget to share to people that you think may benefit from it thank you again for watching and i remain blessing a model of blessed blessing channels thank you bye